Hey guys, it's Greg again. I'm going to do a uh, little analysis here on Jewel. And um, I think Jewel is probably a pretty good example why you don't uh, primarily invest in, uh, in coins like that. Um, because it's just so, so high risk to uh, this coin. I'm not saying you can't make any money, but you want to be aware of what's going on with the technicals in Jewel. The only place I was able to get Jewel is on the deck screener. So it's one of those coins where um, it's uh, I don't I I don't think it's on um, trading view or anything like that. So I'm on deck screener, not really used to it. And I looked at the jewel. Uh, I uh, heard about jewel and Harmony One and DeFi Kingdoms, and I did not go into it because I looked at the technicals of Harmony One. I said Harmony One is going down, so I'm not even messing with it. And it did happen. It uh, happened, let me see, I think Harmony One was about 23 or 24 cents, and now it's down, I think, 14 or 11 cents, and I think it's going to go down farther. So I stayed out of it just for just because I didn't go off what somebody said. I went off the technicals, and i um, kind of glad I stayed out of it because looking at Jewel, it's not looking good at all. Not to say that some of you guys are over here on this fake pump, and I can tell you that's a, that's, that's a corrective pump, guys. I mean, just just look at look at the wave. Three does that look three wavish? Went up to go back down. Okay, if it goes down in a three wave and it comes up, it's going back down. Okay, more than likely. So just going over this uh, right here. This is probably you don't have much information, but it would be um, probably something, you know, something like this. A B. C, and then this is probably like some sort of X wave. And the reason I say that is just look at how uh, bearish it was in the RSI. You see that? And then right here was probably some sort of ABC, like this three wave move. Okay, so it went up on a W, X, and then a Y. So it went up on a three wave move. And then it came down. Here's one probably two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, a little bit of divergence down there and then up and then down on one, two, uh, three, four, five. So probably something like this, another three wave move down like that. It went up and now it's doing, um, likely something like this guys. Went up on an X and it's down for a Y. Where this is going to end up, no telling. And uh, this doesn't look good. Massive, massive selling right here. Okay. So there's going to be a bounce. There will be, a, if you're in this coin, there will be a bounce. Probably something like this. Bounce up on a B and then swing back down for a C. Okay. It's going to depend on how much. If it, if it breaks the low right here. That blue line, that's a problem. I, I'm going to assume that A is going to bounce on the B. Everybody will think that's the low, and it's going to swing back down. Now, whether it comes down aggressively or it goes like this, who knows? But typically, um, just to give you guys an idea, typically the zigzags, if you take that zigzag, um, you know, they can be one to one. So let's say it bounces right there. The B wave comes up pretty good. You know, the zigzags can be 50%, but typically zigzags are, you know, something uh, like one to one. Why is that not working right? Hold on. Let me put this on, guys. Yeah, there we go. So one to one. But the area, that would be the first area, $3.20. And if it breaks that next area, I'd be looking at two fifty, then two dollars and thirteen cents, and then um, dollar sixty seven. Let you guys know, doesn't really look. Uh, it doesn't look good for this coin. It, it's looking really bearish. This its moment of truth is going to be at three dollars and thirty two cents. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.